everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Anna and today I'm going to be doing my August TV on. Let's get going. Honestly, I feel like it did a pretty good reading month and for July, I honestly thought I could never read all of, almost all of those books, but I almost did, so they're not on me. And you know, I didn't finish the one, so I'll just need a book for the, my book reading, which I'm so excited for it. I really love the ideas that I have for this year. It's going to be something epic. But yeah, let's get going. So actually, it's kind of funny because I thought I lost this book, but I haven't. I just couldn't, I didn't know where I put it. And this is the secret to Song of Silver Flame McKnight. And this is Dark Star Burning uh, Ash Falls White by Amelie Vangel. The Demon Gods have risen. Sky's end has fallen to the colonizer and Lad and Zen have chosen sides. But they will not fight together. Though Lad inherited the power of the Silver Dragon, she understands the path she must take. She believes the demon gods to be the cause of the war, conflict, and turmoil. Once she knows that if the Lantians manage to bind one of the legendary beings, the army will be unstoppable. To save the kingdom and her people, Lad will need to find the only mythical weapon capable of eliminating the demon gods forever, the God Slayer. And I gotta win? Well, I'm about to find out. And my next book is The Last Bookshop by Amy Woods. For too long, Opaline, Martha, and Henry have been the side characters in their own lives. Haven't we all? And by one of the vanishing bookshop cast of spells, these three unsuspecting strangers will discover that their own stories are every bit as extraordinary as the ones found in the pages of their beloved books. By unlocking the secrets of the shelves, they find themselves transported into the world of wonder, where nothing is as it seems. And it sounds so fun, I can't wait to read it, so it's gonna be fun. My next book is I already talked about a whole bunch of time is My BC Heist by Caitlin Schneiderhahn. So basically we have these characters, one of their name is Rosa, and they have to pull out like this Renaissance greatest lovely. But to do that, um, Rosa has to pull, like, she has to, like, make a team, like, recruit a team. So we gotta think of her, we gotta fight her, we got the impressible master of disguise. And to top it all off, they also include the reluctant artist, Micah like Angelo. So it's gonna be fun, it kinda reminds me of Emotional Eleven. That movie was actually was pretty good, actually, but... We will see if we will indeed pull off the greatest renaissance robbery. It's only within these pages in my grasp. <laughs> so I don't know how long I have this book, but I have it for ages and I have not met yet it, read it yet. So hopefully we will get to do it right, right now. <laughs> and that is Emma Cursed by Curry and Hayden. I want to say this is a retail of... It's either Hansel and Gretzel or a damsel, something like that. So. We're gonna see. <laughs> the princesses of ever are beloved by the kingdom and the father of the king, the cherished, admired, cursed. Jane, Alice, Norton, Grace, and Eden carry the burden of being punished for a crime they did not commit or even know about. They are each cursed to be without one essential thing, the ability to eat, sleep, love, remember, or hope. And the mother and the queen is imprisoned, frozen in time in an unbreakable glass box. But when Eden's curse sets in on a 13th birthday, the princesses are given the opportunity to break the curses, to prevent them from becoming the true spells, and to make the princesses for life. To do this, they must confront the one who cast the spell again, a young witch who might not be the villain they thought, as well as the wickedness plaguing their own kingdom and family. Exciting stuff. And my last book, uh, I actually want to read me this book again because I never really did quite finish. I also bought the sequel as well, and this is Silver in the Boom by Alexandra Bracken. And I believe the sequel is A Mirror in the Beast or something like that. So I have read this. As you can see, I have left off over there. But obviously, it's been such a long time, and so I forget what happened. But yeah, I do want to reread this, and then hopefully, it's enough to like the sequel. But yeah, so Thamus and Locke didn't ask to be a hollow one. As a mortal with no ma magical talent, she was never meant to break into ancient crypts or compete with sorceresses and cunning folk for the treasures inside. But after her thing fast the fall that disappeared without so much as a goodbye, it was the only way to keep herself and her brother Cable alive. 
Ten years later, members of Smaller Gun have gone and vanished with a powerful ring from a Thurian legend. A running with a rival and raised ignites times in hope that the ring could free Cable from her curse that threatens both of them, but they aren't the only ones who convert the ring. I feel like this is like a King Arthur retell. So, it'll be interesting to uncover the mysteries in the book. So that is it for my August DVR, so nothing too crazy. I don't want to pack too much books because I actually have a busy August schedule, it's kind of insane. So, but good things. <laughs> Only good things, so. Yeah, I'm really excited for August. I think it's going to be easily one of my best summer I ever had, so. I'm really excited. I wish, like, August is just right around the corner. It's almost finito for July. <laughs> but I'm, I'm excited for August. So, yeah, let me know what you're making for your August. And please like, comment, subscribe so you'll be notified every time I post. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!